Special day at the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo for some very deserving children. They got to experience the show in a different way. I can make a mental image of kind of what's going on around me just from what I'm hearing right now. Bringing the rodeo alive for the visually impaired. Two days till the Super News. Thank you so much, Scott. Well, think of a rodeo and what images come to mind. Bucking Broncos, steer wrestling. More than 40 North Texas students have never seen any of that because they are visually impaired. But thanks to the creative use of te technology, a Fort Worth rodeo really came to life for them today. Joel Thomas has the story, new at five. I don't know, I like it all. Shelby Farley is a high school senior from Saginaw who loves coming to the Stop Show and Rodeo. But Farley experiences the Stop Show differently from most. And then I can see... Farley is almost completely blind. I can tell where the, like, the cages are for the animals. And then, like, kind of figures that I assume are animals, but I, like, can't tell exactly. But today, Farley and more than 40 blind or visually impaired young people are going to see a rodeo. They use pairs of headsets to hear a special narrator. They're Palomino horses being ridden by beautiful young ladies. Who will turn this into an image everyone can picture. And he's out of the ship. He's laying back on the horse. He's got a good grip on. And on. he's got to hold on for eight seconds. Make sure that he doesn't have any penalties. I can make a mental image of kind of what's going on around me just from what I'm hearing right now. All right, and he's out. He's on the back of the steer. He's got the steer by the horns. But the steer is really running him around the arena. And now he's got it on the side. It's extremely important. If I didn't have that, I, I mean, I would hear the announcer and hear the people, but I wouldn't get the in-depth detail that I get with the, uh, the description. He's got his right hand up in the air. Uh oh. It made me feel ecstatic. I just love the... I love the excitement of not knowing what's going to happen next. Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News. A group called the Lighthouse for the Blind and the AT&T Pioneer Volunteers made today possible for those kids. It's been a tradition at the Fort Worth Livestock Show for more than 30 years. Let's talk to our chief.